Hello Drone Racers. Today we're going to take another look at these chargers that obviously I'm a big fan of. I've discussed a number of times on the channel, but one of our subscribers, Vincent Fisher, brought to my attention that these chargers might be charging these batteries too fast and we need to watch out for that. So we weren't totally sure, it was just theory. Today we're going to test it. I actually have a battery that I've just run completely out in one of my uh, E10Cs. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a clamp meter. Um, I've got the clamp meter set for reading up to 2 amps. If these charge more than 2 amps, we have a major, major problem. Um, but the theory is these might be charging at 500 milliamps. And I am not an electrical engineer. Um, I mostly just know about these from being involved with it for a long time. And the long time theory says you should only charge these batteries at 1C. So in this case, I have a 150 milliamp battery, I should only be charging it at 150 milliamps maximum. And I just double checked it and I can't see a charging rating for these batteries. They're 45C, but there's no charging rating. So I would tend to use 1C by default. But I don't think that's what's gonna happen. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna set this up. I'm gonna plug it in, get the clamp meter going, and we're gonna watch an entire charge cycle and see what happens. No, you're not gonna have to watch this for an hour. There you can see, as soon as I plugged it in, it went over 500 milliamps. It didn't stay there forever. It did go down to 450-ish, but that's still 3C on these batteries, which is a ton of power going into them. I wasn't sure at this point if it would even do a proper cycle once it reached voltage, but I was happy to see about here where it started to fill up the batteries, it started to creep down to be able to finish charging the batteries pop properly. But 500 milliamps is a ton of juice. Okay, so for comparison's sake, we're gonna see what a really good charger does. I've got my brand new Gamebox Go 4 Duo here that we'll be doing a review on soon on the channel, but for now we're gonna use it to charge this old Zippy 1300. I've got the charger set to know that the battery is 1300. I've got it set for uh, 2.2 amps, which it tells me is 1.69C. You can't see that. There we go. So. And what it will do then is do a bunch of nice complicated calculations and figure out how to charge this battery. So we're gonna go ahead and charge. Now it's gonna start charging and what we'll be able to see is how much power it's putting into the battery. So my good charger actually starts out at a really low amperage just so it'll do a test of the cells and make sure everything's working properly before it filled up to 2.2 amps, which is exactly what I set it to. Now the battery I'm using here was almost charged already. It was 80% and then my lights in my garage turned off. But then it does creep down and do that finalization charge, which is essential on a LiPo. But the biggest difference is it started by testing the cells and then still only went up to 2.2 amps, which is 1.6 C in this case, not 3 C. So after a series of tests, are these charger safe or not safe? I'm not going to answer that. That sounds like a legal question. But I will say I'm going to keep using them even though they do charge really, really fast. I think it comes down to a question of if they don't charge fast, people will buy whatever charges fastest regardless of consequences. But what I will do is treat them a lot more carefully. I'm going to get a lipo bag that I've gone ahead and ordered a couple of them that you can see here and these are super cheap bags but I saw a couple tests and they turned out okay and I bought one extra that I'm actually going to torture one myself because hey I can make another video out of that. And we'll see if those are enough to stand a pretty intense fire but I figure they're better than what I'm doing now so I can put everything in a bag when I'm charging it here. These are pretty small outputs so hopefully that's enough to contain anything that might ha happen. Um, but I will keep recommending the chargers because I do think they do a good job and I've been charged I've charged these batteries hundreds of times at this point and I've never heard of anybody having any problem and I've never had a problem that's not a reason to be extra safe so I will be extra cautious with these in the future but hopefully you learned something on this one I know I did I do think that gives an extra case for the new King Kong chargers while this charger is a little more fragile um, it does have a switch where you actually choose 200 milliamps or 
500 milliamps and it does work with either of the batteries. So I put in my crazy ponies here in the 2.0 connector, but I still charge at 200 milliamps. So that's worked out pretty well for me. I'm a little worried about how fragile it might be, but on my desk bench here, I think it's gonna be really good. More on that coming very, very soon. But that's gonna be it. If you found this useful, give us a thumbs up. Go ahead and subscribe because you're gonna to get to see more reviews of these, which we haven't done yet, and of this, what it comes with, the King Kong that it comes with, and we're gonna, we've got a number of things on the way. I can't stop ordering stuff so we can review it. I'm so excited. There's a lot of stuff coming. So good reviews coming. Make sure you subscribe so you catch them all. And comment down below with what charger you would use. So are you gonna get one of these new King Kongs? Are you gonna use one of these um, green chargers? Or are you adapting it from your existing charger, maybe with a separate parallel board that you're connecting here? Um, we'll probably take a look at one of those too in the future. But thanks for watching. And until next time, go charge some batteries safely.